Hey folks, last week we spoke about the ultimate plastics pack for brim fishing. This week we're gonna have a look at the ultimate plastics pack for flathead fishing. And as my cameraman harasses me, it's the ultimate estuary pack pretty much as well. What you've got in here will catch the bulk of your species in the estuary and also freshwater, stack of freshwater species that, that would eat this gear as well. But in terms of flatties, we get asked a lot of the time, what are the best lures and what are the best jig heads for fishing for flathead? So we're gonna run through a bit of an overview of shallow water and deep water plastics for flathead. And then we're gonna come back at the end and I'll give you my two go-to plastics for flathead and the jig heads that I would use with them. So where do we start? For me, it's paddle tails. I like paddle tail plastics for fishing for flathead. So three absolute go-tos for me are the two and a half inch slim swims, it's big brother the three inch slim swims and the three inch minnows, which again is a three inch plastic, the same as the three inch slim swims, but it's a bulkier profile, looks more mullety, a bit more, bit more size and bulk to that plastic. So those three paddle tails have accounted for a stack of flathead. So if the system you're fishing is smaller or the bait's smaller or the flathead are generally smaller in that region, those smaller plackies are a great place to start. If you're chasing big flatties or you're in bigger water and the bait's bigger in general, then that mullet looking whiting type profile in that three inch minnows is a great starting point. So there you go, there's three gun paddle tails for starting on a flatty. And curl tails are also extremely popular, lots of action, easy to fish, that sort of thing. So a two and a half inch grubs is accounted for a lot of flatties along with brim and other species three and a half inch grubs and also a four inch streaks curly tails so that's three curl tail plastics that are going to be excellent for you when you're targeting flathead and they'll also account for a stack of other species as well from brim and mulloway and snapper to barra and jacks and, and all sorts of things will eat them but in terms of flatties they are half a dozen absolute go-to plastics now if we are fishing shallow water our jig head weight is generally going to be down a bit lighter and as we get deeper we're going to up our jig head weight to get down there to where the fish are those flathead are laying on the bottom in ambush so we want to get that plastic down there bump it in the bottom put it past their face and stir them up a bit so for something like a smaller pl smaller plastic smaller jig head so something like that there we'll need a 1-0 in our two and a half inch slim swims maybe run a 2-0 in our three inch slim swims, and in our three inch minnows we'll run a 3.0 generally. So hook size we're covered. Hook gauge, so we've got two jig heads here that are basically the same weight and hook size, but one is a light wire hook, so we've got a quarter 3.0 light wire, so it's a finer wire hook compared to our heavy gauge hook, our heavy or extra heavy in our, so that's a heavier hook in the Headlocks HD. So the fine gauge is better for penetration, especially when you're fishing light lines and light drags. So better hookup rate, much more easy penetration of that jig head, but the heavier hook is much stronger. So if you're fishing heavy drag and you're pulling fish out of structure, or if you're a beginner and you're not used to playing those fish as well, that heavier hook is a better option for you. Light wire once you get more experience of catching fish and you wanna fish a bit lighter, have a bit more fun as well. So jig head weight. One eighth is a great option when you're right up on the flats. If you're right up in that shallow water, it gives that plastic a slower fall in that water, gives the fish time to find it and get onto it, but it gets down there quick enough that you can bump it on the bottom. And it doesn't sink and bury in the weed as much as a heavier head does as well. So one eighth is a great starting point for shallow water. Probably the most common jig head weight that I use for flathead is a quarter ounce. And that's perfect. I'll fish it in a metre of water. I'll fish it through to about three metres of water. So as long as it's not crazy run, it's great for fishing the flats on a long cast and those drop-offs into the channel. Once you get into the channel and it sort of hits that three metre mark, starts to get a bit deeper than that and you get a bit more run, a three-eighth ounce allows you to stay in contact with the plastic a lot better and make sure you're on the bottom bumping that bottom. So a three-eighth ounce is good, long casts, deeper water, really hitting those edges and drop-offs at the base of the channel edges. And then the heaviest, heaviest I'll go generally in shallow or water, say that those estuaries and rivers where your channels hit maybe four, five, six metres max, is probably around that half ounce. So a half ounce is good for that, that deeper water stuff in the general estuary and river fishing that we do. So there you go. In terms of shallow water stuff, we've got our three paddle tails, our three curl tails that are all extremely effective on the flathead. And we've covered with a one eighth quarter, three-eighth and half in terms of our weight for getting it down there. You'll also see in those jig heads as well, some colored options. So that's the TT Lewis Demons jig heads. 
and they're available in all sorts of colors. So there's a chartreuse and a pink and a pearl, green, golden boy. And a lot of guys like to use them for flathead for, for two different reasons. One reason is you can match the plastic and the jig head up, which makes it look extremely natural in the water. Otherwise, we might take that chartreuse head, throw it onto a completely different colored plastic so that it pops, you really get that stand out in the water so the fish can see it, especially if you're fishing dirty water and weedier conditions. So they're colored head options as well to suit your plastics. So we've got colored heads, we've got a million colors in plastics, so where do we go with colors in terms of plastics? Great starting points are a natural bait fish color, a fluoro color, and a darker color. And the reason that I carry those three different colors, clear water, light bright days, you really want a light natural color in that clear water. And then when the water gets dirtier, say the tide turns and starts to run out, you really want a darker color so you get a better silhouette in that dirty water. And then if neither of those are working, throw your fluoro colors. So the fluoro pinks, the chartreuse glows, electric chickens, nuke chickens, they're all popular for, as a fluoro option for those flathead as well. So we're ready to go. The first spot we roll up to, loaded with weed. So another good option, check out our chapter on weedless rigging. So that's a snake locks weedless jig head, and that allows you to fish that plastic right through the weed and other structure without fouling. Fish bites, it clears the hook, and we've got our hook up. So check out that snake locks as well. On my go-to three inch minnows for flatties, I like a 3.0 size hook. And on my smaller favorite, this little guy here, the two and a half inch slim swims, I like a size two in a snake locks finesse, the lighter gauge in the snake locks jig head. So again, quarter ounce and three eighth ounce, good starting points on those plackies. So that's our shallow water stuff, we're ready to roll. You'll find guys fishing for flathead, like say in the flathead classic, they're fishing deep entries to the, to the like bars basically and channel entries and they're fishing deep holes and deep ledges and those guys are basically using plastics that would be right at home chasing mulloway, chasing snapper offshore, um, chasing pelagic species offshore so you can actually step up to quite a large plastic when you're fishing for flatties in deep water. The reason being is you want that profile size so that the fish see it down there you want that bigger bait fish representation in that deeper water, and you want that action so the fish can feel it through their lateral line and they can find that plastic more effectively with more water around them. So there's a few options for, plast for plastics for flatties in deeper water. That's a four inch diesel minnows, transfers well from shallow to deep. Four inch swimmers and even our six inch swimmers as well is popular for big flathead. If you want something with less action to fish deep water and get it down there quick, that five inch center jerk shads or a jerk bait style profile is the go. And then one that has come into the range and been super, super popular on the flatties, big flatties in deep water is that five inch streaks curly tails. A lot of action, a lot of movement and the big flatties, they eat that no problem at all, they love it. So of course we're upping our jig head, upping our plastic size so we need to up our jig head size. So most of those, those guys there you'd throw a, a 4.0, 5.0 size hook in them you want that bigger hook for that bigger profile size. And weight wise, where we finished up in the estuary and river on our half ounce jig head is generally where we start for that deep water stuff. So the guys will often fish half ounce, three quarter ounce, and a one ounce. It sort of has you covered for a lot of that deep water flatty fishing. And if you're fishing deep, you may still be fishing snaggy and weed, weedy type country as well. So that snake locks you can get in bigger sizes as well. So like a half ounce 5.0 allows you to weed and rig those big plastics and, and still fish for flatties in deep water. Scent wise, I like to scent up all my plastics when I'm fishing. So a bit of Procure on there, super sticky, stays on for a long time. Um, my go-tos for flathead are generally mullet and pilchard, but other favorites, shrimp, inshore salt water, uh, bloody tuna, all popular bait fish style of scents for targeting flathead. So there you go. Flathead, we want to be fishing shallow water flathead around those sandbanks, weed edges, drains, areas that, are, that will hold bait and, and a good structure and hold shelter and ambush points for the flatties. Same thing in the deep water, we're still looking for edges, we're still looking for timber, we're still looking for structure that will hold bait and give that fish a break from the current as well. All right, for me, Shallow water flatties it is for me. So if I had to choose two plastics and jig heads right now to get out there and catch a few flatties, I would choose a two and a half inch slim swims and I would put it on a quarter one o jig head and you're pretty well covered for 
shallower water, drains, all that sort of fishing where the bait's smaller and you also catch a, a heap of brim and other species. The other plastic that I would grab would be a three inch minnows. That is the ultimate flathead plastic in my books, available in a ton of colours because it is so effective. And I'd have trouble choosing one jig head, so I would probably go with a quarter and a three eighth in a 3 -o with that three inch minnows and we're ready to go and bang some flatties. So there you go, a lot of info in there, but if you go to tacklecoms.com.au, go to the Soft Plastics 101 section and you'll find a PDF with a breakdown of all that information in there to make it a bit easier for you. In the meantime, check out the Slim Swims, check out the minnows, a couple of jig heads to go with them, go get stuck into a few flatties.